respected and much loved thoroughbred horseman William E. Bill Graves, a senior vice president with Fasig Tipton for 26 years, passed away after a short illness on Wednesday, May 30, at the University of Kentucky Hospital in Lexington, Kentucky. Bill's son Brian, director of public sales at Gainesway Farm, was at his side for all his final days. A native of Virginia, where he developed a formidable reputation as a competitor on the national show horse circuit, Bill turned that skill in his early 20s into being one of the best thoroughbred yearling showmen at Saratoga and in Kentucky. After stints at several leading thoroughbred farms in Kentucky, Bill opened Graves Stable, primarily for training and selling two-year-olds and training. Bill and his late wife Michelle, were always among the leading consigners at Fasig Tipton's premier juvenile sale at Calder Racecourse in Florida. In 1992, Bill was recruited by Fasig Tipton to review and manage its selected yearling sale process and, up to the last 10 days of his full life, Bill was working with consigners, pulling together catalogs for the July sale and the Saratoga sale. A writer, a Virginia Show Horse Hall of Fame inductee in 2007, breeder of greatest stakes winners, trainer, sales agent and consultant, there was no aspect of the thoroughbred industry which Bill did not master. He advised on every phase of the very successful Angus Glen Farm of Art and Gordon Stollery, one of the high points of which was the sales topping $3 million for a son of Mr. Prospector at the 1999 Saratoga sale. Through a lifetime of achievements, Bill was unquestionably proudest of the accomplishments of his son Brian as a horseman, and, with his wife Leslie, as the parents of Bill's three treasured grandchildren, Will, Catherine, and Carson. He is also survived by his brother, Reed Graves, and his sister, Elizabeth, Diddy, Stone, both of Lynchburg, Virginia. Funeral arrangements in Lexington, Kentucky, will follow. New to the Pollock Report? Click here to sign up for our daily email newsletter to keep up on this and other stories happening in the thoroughbred industry.